The gospel is exclusive in the person of Christ. John 14, 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Acts 4, 12, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The gospel is exclusive to the work of Christ. Galatians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil age according to the will of our God and Father. In the gospel, Jesus Christ is exclusively the author and perfecter of a believer's salvation. Hebrews 12, 2. Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the present joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. The gospel is exclusive in its message. Galatians chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another. But there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. The gospel is exclusive to God, not an invention of man. Galatians chapter 1, verse 11. But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man. The gospel is exclusive by grace through faith. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. And in the end, the gospel is foolishness to the non-believer and the power of God to the believer. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God.